has recently taken the internet and the gaming community by storm. It has frankly become one of the most played games um, of really the last few months and has been selling like crazy. And a lot of people have been talking about it. And as someone who grew up playing the 3DS uh, era and the DS era of Nintendo games, as well as mainly uh, the Pokemon games, and as someone who unfortunately still spends money on these games every year, I thought I'd give my two takes on why I think Pal World is not just a one hit wonder game. It's been a trend in the past few years for games to garner a lot of popularity uh, within its first month, within its first week, sometimes even its first few days and then slowly die off after the hype. A game that really broke this trend and kind of started it at the same time uh, is Fortnite. Fortnite garnered a huge player base uh, when it started and then all of a sudden it kind of started to drop. Now obviously there's still a shit ton of people that play that game um, but it kind of started with the Fortnite spinoff games. These games would be majorly popular for the first week, first month of their release and then die. It's probably a case study to be done about the attention span of not just uh, people who play video games, but the internet in general. But Power World, to me, feels a little bit different. So the Pokemon Company and Nintendo have been releasing games for over 20 years. And frankly, the ones released 10, 15, 20 years ago are better than the most recent ones. Now, I know a huge sentiment on um, Pal World versus Nintendo is that Nintendo is going to sue Pal World, and I can very much see them going through with this. If you don't know, Nintendo has a major history of just absolutely obliterating anybody who ROM hacks their games, puts their game on pirating websites, uh, makes a game that takes... <laughs> 3D models from their games and uses it for their own. And Pal World has done that. It's very evident that Pal World has legally plagiarized uh, Pokemon games. However, I don't think Nintendo should. Nintendo are already seen as the bad guys in this situation. They have been making very stagnant games of the biggest franchise for years now. I'd like to think that a big major turn in the people who play Pokemon and the people who support this company uh, really started with their first major Switch release, the Let's Go games. People were very upset that this new hardware that we had was giving us a game like this, so child down, so beginner friendly, um, with no difficulty option. There is still no difficulty option in the games released three, four years after this, and players have been screaming for it for the longest time. I will say that Legends Arceus was a very, very good switch up to the formula, and honestly, like a top three Pokemon game experience. I think that game is phenomenal. It's exactly what the franchise needed. It just needed to take that one step forward to be fully open world instead of open zone. But unfortunately, I don't know if we're getting that type of game again because of the most recent ones. Yes, Scarlet and Violet released to a lot of units being sold, and it is the first open world Pokemon game, which I give them credit for. But I have to take back that credit because the game was severely unoptimized and very unfinished. I myself didn't have that many instances of this, uh, but that, I'm not going to take that away from the people who did. Because there were a lot of people who games were buggy, games crashed, games literally erased save files, uh, the frame rate was abysmal, like it was not locked at 30. If anything, it was locked at like 24 and then would dip to around 10 at a lot of different instances. And their solution to fix this was to about two months after the game came out, drop a patch that deletes overworld models and basically shrinks the amount of Pokemon you can run into in the open world, which is definitely not something they should be doing. And it still didn't fix the major issues. <laughs> like I wanna say that game's been out for a year or almost a year now. Um, I think it's been over a year. I'm not too sure on my timelines, but that it's still buggy. I just finished playing the DLCs and the DLCs story-wise and content-wise are always really good, but it, they still are a buggy, laggy mess. And when you play a game like 
Xenoblade Chronicles 1, 2, and 3 on the Switch, and then you go over to a franchise that you think would be spending the resources and the time and the money, and, you know, it's, it's the biggest franchise Nintendo owns. It's one of, if not the biggest gaming franchise in the world, and you get this. It's just kind of... A shock. <laughs> Shit, Mario Odyssey plays a thousand times more smooth. But what does this have to do with POW World's longevity? I think that people are very fed up uh, with Nintendo and their gotcha money system that they have created themselves where they release the same boring titled product every single year. It has these bugs and it's broken and they doesn't listen. They don't listen to feedback from the community. They don't add things that we've been asking for for literal decades. And it, it's just like people are tired. And as someone who's in that camp, I agree. The only reason that I still buy the games, it's not to support Nintendo or the Pokemon company or Game Freak. It's to support that like nostalgic feel I have with the games. But even now with the most recent releases, I found myself not playing them as much as the other ones and maybe it's just because I'm busier or it's because I've grown up a lot more uh, over the past year but I think that I the the magic there is very much dwindling and that's where power world comes in this game is gorgeous it's more accessible it runs really smooth and it, it has guns i don't want to say it but this, this game has weapons you can really do whatever you want in this game if you want to punch a pal to death you can if you want to capture a human in one of the capsule balls you can um if you want to build a base and enslave a bunch of adorable little pals you can do so and, or you could just ride back ass ones around the world and, and it's a very refreshing experience there have always been games that borrow or take inspiration from the pokemon games but none of them have ever garnered this much success i don't remember if temtem was a hugely successful game or not it was i know it was like notorious for being the pokemon killer quote unquote kind of like how call of duty has a new call of duty killer every year but that game didn't really garner this much support and this much like people playing the game <laughs> i think one of the biggest things too is that this game is accessible to a lot more people i always knew that nintendo was going to reach a point where um either their audience grows up or people just kind of get sick of their business practice or they just run out of people because yeah a lot of people can own a nintendo switch but i i'd like to argue that more people own xboxes pcs playstations combined than they do a switch there's a huge untapped market of nintendo fans and people who would play nintendo games but they don't want to play it on a switch because the switch caps the performance that play on PC. There's a lot of ways for you to play older Pokemon games on the PC. Now, whether that's legal and ethical is up to you to think about, but you can mod these games and we've seen gameplay of that throughout the years. You can see how people have taken the game files and optimized them and made them so much more than what we were given. And I think this is where Power World's biggest strength is. They're unapologetically stealing Pokemon's main audience before they even had the chance to become real Pokemon fans, if that makes sense. A lot of these people grew up playing the older Pokemon games with this magic feeling and then slowly probably lost out throughout the DS, 3DS era. A lot of these people grew up with those old magical feeling games and now they have a different type of magical feeling game that is a capturing system. It works like Pokemon. It gives you the same like enjoyment of catching things and training things. I think they even have shinies. I saw a thumbnail where someone was talking about it. I, mean, I don't know on that one. I, I just think that Power World has this sticking power. Obviously, we'll wait to see what happens with it. If Nintendo sues them or DMCA's them or whatever, uh, then obviously the game cannot stick around. Uh, but so far, it's been a huge success on steam and on consoles and there hasn't been any action taken so maybe power world just has some really good lawyers set up i hope they do because the nintendo ninjas do not mess around anyways that's gonna do it for today's video i thought i would give 
a little bit of two cents on Pal World. Again, I don't know if they're going to keep the exact same player numbers as they've been hitting, um, but I definitely don't think this game is just a one-hit weekend wonder uh, just because of how many people are uploading it, how many people are talking about it, and then the controversy is always going to keep it kind of in the news, if that makes sense. So it's actually kind of good that they copied Pokemon so much. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go play some Pal World, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.